It's me, Jacob, my brother, Lucas, and my other brother, Ethan. Let's do a little zoom in. Smile. About a few days ago, we were just at Ikea reviewing furniture items. While we were at Ikea, we saw that there was a food court or a restaurant, I don't know what you call it. And I already knew this, but I was looking at it and some of the food actually looked kind of good. It's kind of funny because why would you want to eat food at in a furniture store? But that's what I wanted to do today. Yeah, and we saw the food yeah. court last time we flipped. Luckily, we asked mom and dad for some money. Mom? Yeah? Can I borrow some money because me, Lucas, and Ethan want to go to the Ikea food court. And we, we want money for it. Oh, yeah, my little boys can always, I always got, yeah, for you guys, here. here. Thank you, Thank mom. You cash I have. You're welcome. And we're gonna be able to ball out at the food court. Aren't you buying us one of everything? Yeah, so I'm gonna try to get one of everything and I'm pretty sure you can get the food to go. Hopefully you can at least because I want to film this in the comfort of the vehicle. If we're being honest, who goes to Ikea and gets food to go? I feel That's like, what, like, I wonder if they even do have to-go boxes. <laughs> Let's just hope and pray. Hopefully. Hopefully the food doesn't taste like couch too much. I like couch. Like, yes, cushion tastes good, but I don't want it to taste too much like that. One of Ikea's most popular items is meatballs, and that kind of has the same texture as a couch. <sighs> This is it. This is our journey throughout Ikea. We started out going up the escalator. Actually, only Lucas and Ethan went on the escalator and I went on the stairs because I'm a health queen. I'm actually surprised I haven't released um a health fitness guide yet. Like, it's really surprising. That will be in the future. Watch out for that. Um, no, just joking. We arrived to the food court and it was giving school and hospital food court energy. It reminded me very much of a hospital. That wasn't sp supposed to be shady. We got in line and I got a couch because I knew we were about to get so much food. I just love how they have shopping couch theme jigs because Ikea knows that everyone is coming to munch on a lot of food. So first of all, we got to the dessert section. They had three types of desserts and we got out of them. <laughs> then there was this section with salads and wraps and stuff, but I got nothing from that section because, let's be honest, we all know what a salad with feta cheese tastes like, and we all know what a turkey wrap tastes like. Then we made it to the order thingy-majig, and you had to speak into this, like, speaker thing. It felt like I was at a bank. Lucas actually was talking because I was too embarrassed to order. Don't ask why. Hey, can I get one of every meal to go? You want a meal to go? Yeah, can I have one of every meal? What was it? Um, every, one of every meal. After a few minutes, we got all of the food and we were all really excited. Then we paid with our mom and dad's money and it costed about $50, which I would say it's a good price. Yay, we're done. Then we got back to the vehicle and there was some drama because I was trying to set up the camera but I couldn't see the viewfinder so I didn't know if we were too bright or whatever. Lucas and Ethan were really hungry so it was a really hostile environment. No, um, all that happened is they said can you hurry up and I tried to hurry up. I just thought you guys should know that. <laughs> we are back from the Ikea food court and we have a bunch of to-go boxes. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Disclaimer, they didn't have the salmon filet or something? We have filleted salmon. So yeah, if you cared about that, they didn't have that. Also, we didn't get the kids' meals. Because we aren't kids. No, I honestly just forgot to ask about the kids' meal, but we all know what a chicken tundra tastes like, so that's fine. We got every type of ball, though. Every type of ball. I'm surprised they don't have human balls. Ball, human ball, testicles. Ball, ball, ball. I got a Diet Pepsi of, I would have wanted a Diet Coke, but all they have is Diet Pepsi, so good enough. I got Swedish apple cider. It's organic. 
And then I'm also wearing this t-shirt that I got from... Okay, but we're not going to go through all of us showing what we're wearing. I want to I think like the viewers We want to eat. I'm hungry. The viewers care. They don't. Okay, we can just eat then. I got a diet Dr. Pepper because I felt like having that today. <laughs> I guess we just try them now, right? Bring out the first what one. should we try first? Veggie balls, I guess. Okay, let's dig into that. <laughs> Veggie balls. Ikea has veggie balls, plant-based balls, and actual meat balls. <laughs> Ew. I still don't get what the difference between veggie and plant-based is, but... Well, veggie might have eggs. Oh, okay. Plant-based means, like, no, uh, f animals. Veggies are plants. What do you mean? are plant-based. Aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, veggie-made versus plant-based. I feel like I'm like, I don't know. What? I don't know. Oh. <sighs> This, this is veggie balls with some mashed potatoes. I want to defend um, Ikea because it might look like this is a small ass meal. They separated them into two boxes because they were mm -hmm. out of the big boxes. So this is actually half of the meal. Oh, I'm man. excited. I'll try some of the mashed potatoes first. I have had a veggie ball before, like frozen. It doesn't smell good, but... Mm. Mm, it tastes like Mexican food. The mashed potatoes are good. I'm gonna taste some taters. Damn! TV dinner but step up. Also, the wooden spoons are a moment. I thought it was very, like, environmentally friendly because I'm assuming wood's better than plastic. I know, I think Ikea's, like, for the environment. These veggie balls taste like they were made with beans. I'm gonna open my cider apple thing. Did you try a veggie ball yet? Mm hmm They're pretty good. Oh, this is like apple juice. It's good. Can I try it? Yeah. You tell them that you're, um, doing something illegal? Oh, yeah, this has a little bit of... Alcohol in it. I don't know if YouTube cares about that. Um, Point but one. Zero point one. So I'm gonna be tipsy. Nah, that's so little. Oh yeah, tastes like McDonald's drop apple juice. Yeah, Swedish. All right. So I'm assuming this is a Swedish company, right? Yeah. The best pop music is from Sweden. Well, that is good. This is like apple juice. You can actually taste the veggies. Like there was some corn in mine. Um, some cauliflower, I think. Should I see if ketchup elevates it? Yeah. They elevates that shit? I'm sure it's good. <laughs> what do you guys thought? I mean, pretty good. I actually loved it. Like, it does. Yeah. It obviously tastes like vegetables, but it tastes so good still. I know. It still does taste really This is good. getting a great for me. Not great, but good. You kind of hated it. It was good, but it's not great. Oh, I'm. Now we're digging into the plant based meatballs with. Oh. oh cranberry. Some cranberry sash. Sauce and mashed potatoes. I don't know if any Swedish people are watching. I want to know, are balls a big thing there? Is that a thing, do you think? Oh, uh, um, yeah, I could like Swedish meatballs. Uh -huh. I don't know. Oh my god! I just connected that. Because mom makes them, right? <laughs> yeah, there are Swedish meatballs uh -huh. that make sense. So am I supposed to dip it in this curry? Yeah, in this I mean, cranberry. I'm going to dip mine. Whoa. Wait, it tastes so much like Thanksgiving. It doesn't taste like couch, which is good. Oh, thank God. That one's gonna taste like a mattress, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different taste than the veggie. Mm-hmm. Like, it does taste not as good, for being honest. For me, at least. Mm. But, do you guys disagree? Do you love it? I think I might like these more than veggie, because they taste more like an actual meatball. Mm. So, I'm gonna have to say these are better than veggie. What's your thoughts, though? Um, yeah, these do taste more like a meatball. So, do you like them better than veggie? A little bit better. So two plus one, so we won that. Fine. Oh, this one. It tastes like something I've had before, though, in a bad way. Maybe, like Ethan said, matches? Maybe. For me, it was a miss. But it do. It turns out that I'm a bow person, because, like, it's kind of fun eating meatballs just I know. for, like, a lunch thing. It's lunch right now, if y'all guys are wondering. If anyone knows how to get a hold of animal testicles, <laughs> let us know, because we missed our town's testicle festival, <laughs> and I don't want to wait till 2022. I don't know what MB is, but... <gasps> oh, this is a meat meatball. Oh, oh a regular meatball. so... Not Classic Swedish, Swedish meatballs. I no, forgot... it's not even Swedish meatballs, it's just regular meatballs. Oh, but everything's Swedish, right? No, no. this one's Swedish meatballs. What? Wait, there's four <laughs> types of meatballs? I guess. So this is regular-ass meatballs. I'm down. I love how many uh, balls there are. These look like they're made with bread. No, this looks like chicken, kinda. Uh. Oh, these are salmon! No fucking way on! 
fish. Oh, no, it's good though. Mm. It is good, but I just wasn't expecting it, so it kind of grossed me out. <laughs> okay, the thing about it is I actually like the taste, but I will always say this. Fish at cheap prices kind of grosses me out. I don't know why. It like This was like $3, I think, and it kind of grosses me out. Yeah, I'm not going to have another one. <laughs> They're good, though. But it's just a thing where it grosses me out. Because I'm one of those annoying people who thinks fish is gross. I like fish, though, but like, you know what I mean? You guys get me. But I, you guys, like, love them. Don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, those are the best balls so far. Woo! Mm -hmm. All right. They're my worst. No, but they said the reason why I like them too is that um, the salmon was caught in the lake down the street. This little <laughs> pond that's really muddy. <laughs> um, I'm not to say. I can't really say if they're better than plant based or veggie, but they are good. It's like a whole different thing. I didn't like and I would not recommend to anyone. <laughs> Swedish meatballs. Oh, oh, this is the meat meatball. These are the ones that <gasps> everyone online raves about. Pamboy sauce. Okay. You always hear when you go to Ikea, try the Swedish meatballs. These are the ones. We've been trying the knockoffs. This is the legit original. Oh, okay, I'm actually so scared. Should oh, we cheers? Oh, you already ate yours. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to Sweden. <laughs> this is good. This is the best. All the other ones before are Ray J. This is Kanye. <laughs> I actually like Ray J. Oh, you like the other ones. I didn't. We all have to vote. Let's just let's just vote what is the best right now. Oh, I thought we were going to vote who gets the last one. Oh, you can have it. That's fine. You can have it. Yeah. Oh, I guess I, you guys said more salmon, so <laughs> it's actually fair. I'll go for since, um, you know. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I honestly am not joking. The best to me was plant-based. And then second best was vegan, and this is third best. And salmon is the lowest. This is good, obviously, but it's just not the best. My number one is the classic Swedish. They're so good. Number two, veggie. Those are really good as well. Three, plant-based, didn't like. Four, salmon, never good again. This is number one, Swedish meatballs. And then salmon meatballs is coming second. And then I would say plant-based is coming third, and vegan is coming last. What? You mean plant-based? No, right, said plant-based. Oh. See, why do they have two? What? <laughs> also, how come the veggie ones didn't have cranberry sauce on them? Do they not make that plate right? God! It feels like I'm having Thanksgiving dinner on a day in August in a parking lot. It's weird. Well, this is all we have left, Ethan? Uh-huh. Oh, this is sad. And then zooming on the food? Yeah. Um, next we have some broccoli. Yeah, like I said, this is the other half of the meal we haven't had yet. So each one has mm -hmm. like its own unique side, which will be really exciting to try. Oh, I love how they just didn't even add anything. No mm. salt, nothing. That's good. On to the next side. Now we have some more broccoli. Wait, it's just the same thing? I guess so. Okay. I guess okay, all right. See if there's anything different? Nope, no seasoning. I don't like broccoli if it's covered in butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or when there's like a slice of cheese on it. Mm. <laughs> That's when it's good. That's when broccoli really takes it to a different level. That was yummy. Like, it actually tastes good. Do they pick the broccoli from like, um, Bali or something? Sweden. <laughs> all right. Here's some more broccoli. Are you kidding? Ooh, another thing of broccoli. Mm. All right. I don't know if we're supposed to just eat these back to back, but. <laughs> mm. Mm. Why do you think these look so much like trees, though? Has we never explained that? The reason why these look like trees is because they're trees that haven't evolved. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, that's what like, the creator of Earth told me last night in my dream. On to the next side. Broccoli again. Well, I wonder what's in this one. Oh my gosh, let's see. Might be something special. I'm not having this one. More broccoli. Another thing of broccoli. Why didn't they like give us mac and cheese and stuff? I don't get it. Like I'm kind of mad about it. I'm like, there's all these options for sides. <laughs> okay, you're eating too rough. <laughs> he broke his fork. Ethan, I swear right, I can buy you more. One. I'll buy you the more. I don't know. I'm not holding <laughs> Ethan hostage. Like I don't want to have that narrative on the internet. <laughs> you are that excited to eat broccoli. You broke your fork. <laughs> now that was a race. For some reason, broccoli goes so well with these meatballs. If it was on the same plate, 
Yeah, I, it's kind of worth eating it plain. Because I'd be able to dip it in the sauce, dip it in the gravy, dip it in the potatoes. Then I'd be loving it. Do you think they have a sign really small somewhere in there? These could cause slivers in your mouth? I didn't no think about me. that. No one warned me. But besides that fact, we got pulled for it. <laughs> Oh, oh, this is the this is the big one. I didn't know this was a thing, but there was a pulled pork sandwich. Um, it does look gross, but it probably tastes good. Mm -hmm. To me, that looks like ah, oh, like that's what I think I see. Well, I mean, when I see that, I just go ah. Oh. Well, <laughs> I think of like a moan, but like a moan that's like you're doing good, but not that good. Like mm. I picture number one girl on OnlyFans moan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ethan, I'm just gonna tear mine with my hand. This is pathetic. I'll just have whatever's left, I guess. This actually looks like pig slap. <laughs> it is. Isn't that what it is? <laughs> pig body? <laughs> Wait, that's the old No. <laughs> no? Wait, it tastes like it has cranberry though. No. That's the only gross thing. I know. Thing. Not really that good. <laughs> mm, that's cool, that's good. The only bad thing is the cranberry. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of grossing me out now. If we're being honest, this literally looks like blood in a sandwich. Yeah. I actually did like the cranberry sauce. It had some like sweetness. I get what they're going for. Yeah, it does. It adds a touch. I want Ikea to have a drive through Like, what if I like the food so much, but I don't want to walk inside of Ikea? That's so annoying. I mean, honestly, it's good. Like, it's on Uber Eats. Grab but I, I get why they don't have a drive through because it's like a business model. We want people inside the store, so maybe mm. they'll buy a couch. That's so smart. Some people like might be so in love with the food, they go there just for the food and then end up buying oh, yeah. stuff. Just a side note, the workers were so nice. I thought, they, I thought they would be annoyed because we're ordering every single thing on the effing menu. But they were like, no problem. I know, they were actually very nice. Mm-hmm. Why does everything have to be weird? No, <laughs> I'm just saying they're very nice. <laughs> Like, you guys have to get past to even like organizing this shit. We just got mac and cheese, and then we have dessert. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot about mac dessert! And cheese. I forgot about dessert! <laughs> guys, I'm getting first bite. Okay. They, gave candy us candy such, <laughs> they gave us such a smile. <laughs> JoJo Siwa song? They gave us such a smile with portion. Whatever. Just be fair. fair. Okay, this is my scoop. <laughs> Here's my eight scoops. Mm. Oh, mm. good. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I get Jojo Siwa. Mm -hmm. I'm a kid at a candy <laughs> store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that macaroni is top notch. I, they could have so easily foamed it in. They didn't. Clean. Okay, who wants to look at it with their hand? <laughs> 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 but, like, you know what I mean? They could have done this runny ass craft macaroni and cheese shit, but they made their own little recipe. It tastes exactly like Stofa's mac and cheese. Do you guys agree? Exactly. Yeah, it kind of does, actually. Mm. This is obviously good, guys. Like, I like this, but, um, it's way too sugary. Like, I'm not even trying to be, like, not a kid in a candy store, but, um, it's like, <laughs> it's like, way, it feels like I'm drinking, like, a waddle milkshake. You should have said, I want every moment of mac and cheese. Now we're on to the first dessert. <gasps> so with these desserts, they were on plates, and then they put them in to go. I just thought you guys should know because like, isn't that cool? We were only gonna get two. We decided to get all three. Nope. <sighs> this isn't my favorite dessert yet. We haven't gotten to it, but this is it. Is this cheesecake? I is think it? so, yeah. Oh my. Oh. Let's dig in. You got me too good. Too good. Ethan, <laughs> what if I do point? Like, what happened then? I know, what if it is actually too good? <laughs> 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 it's apple pie. Oh, I don't know what you're eating apple pie right now. Oh, I thought it was like coffee cake or something. Apple pie fritter. <laughs> it is really good. Like, it's 100 but it's not good. Mm. Like, 100. Yeah. I really like it. It feels like fancier than like a McDonald's apple pie. That's what's weird about all this food. All of this food feels a step above fast food. Yeah, it's elevated. I don't know. Yeah, IKEA might be in the point of too good. So, like, I wouldn't ever move to an Ikea because like, um, buy an Ikea because like, it might be too good. I know, he you know it's too good. Oh, so those ones are Swedish balls. Those are regular balls. Uh. Okay. <gasps> oh, what one is it? 
Guys, I saw this oh, in a video. video. I saw this in a video and they, it looks so good. And I've actually been thinking about this for the past three days. Is this a Reese's guys, Cup? I know you guys can't see, but there's a crowd of people watching us eat right now. Oh, yeah, they're all gathered around. Guys. <laughs> this <laughs> looks delicious. <gasps> oh my god, there's a crack in there. I'm hiding it when you guys. What is it? It's so good. There's a little crunchy. There's a. Mm. Guys, what is this? This is what I've been trying to find my whole life. Oh my god, and the smooth, creamy, silky top. <laughs> it feels like I'm in France. <laughs> you know, this is like what rich people eat. <laughs> Don't go to those fancy dessert stores. This is like two dollars probably. Honestly, like for a wedding cake, go to Ikea. I'm not even kidding, it's so good. And if you ask them to make a wedding cake, they might. I don't know if they will, but they might. <laughs> Guess we'll know when we I'm see. I'm actually just gonna sit on the ground make it gross. One our last item, guys, so um. It's getting really intense. No, I'm actually sad it's over. <gasps> oh, this is just the original chocolate cake. Honestly, it doesn't sound that good. I Triple have low fudge, expectations. Double chocolate. Very low expectations. I, know, I actually don't, I don't want to like hate on people, but I'm not that big a fan of chocolate cake. But I do like it. Yeah. Too much of something. If they always do. These chocolate cakes always have a little bit too much of something. And like, it's not dry. I just don't like it. Obviously, I'm going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start eating it with my hands like Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> Something about their chocolate is so good. I know, I like the moussey part. Their chocolate has a flavor that is unmatchable. I know. Ew! <laughs> what? <laughs> You're a little shit boy. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like poop would taste like this. <laughs> Try to keep that in. Wait, what? <laughs> you know it's. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Honestly, it's all so good. I'm just honestly. If you like need anything, go to Ikea and eat lunch there. I like it more because it's not as like greasy as these other fast food oh, places. Oh, it definitely is like healthy. It wouldn't make you feel like bloated. Like yeah, maybe if you got a chocolate cake, but it's like good and I and I would honestly it eat good. it. I give it all a great. I, I would know. say it mucked, it, it, it met my expectations. And I do love how like no matter what type of lifestyle you have, they have a meatball that fits your needs. Hopefully, I don't know if they have like a gluten free one though, but I like that too. Catering towards everyone. I know. I think vegetable might bring be all of your know. friends from different food dietary lifestyles, and you can all enjoy something there. I love you, IKEA. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Goodbye, Z's. Bye. Bye.